All right, everybody, this is Ava, my baby girl, and she's resting currently, but we're about to do her hair. Uh, Ava, tell everybody why you like daddy doing your hair versus mommy. Because mommy does it too hard, and you do it nice and soft. <laughs> she does it like, <laughs> you do it nice and easy. <laughs> Okay, so we are getting ready to do Ava's hair. Um, all of my babies are natural. And uh, a little over a year ago, I um, just looked on YouTube. My wife did it uh, for so long, and I was like, I want to help her out. So I surprised my wife one time and did it. And then now it's kind of like part of my dad dad duties every so often. Like, my wife will still do them, but when she can't, I definitely jump in and help her out. So this is like a two three hour process um of course we're not going to show all that on video but in short this is what we're looking at this is all of ava's what's called um new growth for natural hair um and what we want to do is tighten these up so that she has a nice um you can see the parts and that her hair just looks nice and fresh and that that new growth is all tightened up so we're going to work on that this evening to get that done uh, sometimes I will wash Ava's hair for her or she'll wash it herself tonight She chose to wash herself in the shower um, So these are pretty much the tools that we will use to get uh, Going to get Ava's hair uh, Nice and done and I have an older daughter too whose hair needs to be done So we probably will tackle that again tonight too and just to show you the process like the before and after But uh, this is Ava's hair. She's all fresh and clean. We're gonna tighten it up So that is look like nice and good I'm a, yeah, I'll turn the fan off, baby. But these are our go-to items. Again, head and shoulders or the off-brand version, of course, because it has two-in-one for dandruff, uh, shampoo, and conditioner. Um, coconut oil is very good for natural hair, for African-American hair, so we're going to use this. This is actually a crochet needle. Uh, like, it's a, a, a crochet needle, so we're going to do a crochet tightening of the braid. So almost... I don't know if this is the same process that you actually use when you're doing regular crocheting, but this is the needle and um, you'll kind of see how I do it. And of course, some uh, hair ties just to kind of keep the hair nice and tight. Or not nice and tight, I guess to keep the hair separated and out of the way so that you can see where you're going and see what you're doing. So these pretty much are it, our kind of three products. And my wife also has some shea butter. I don't have that uh, here. I need to go in the room to get it. Uh, but you'll see that as I'm doing her hair too. That helps um, keep her hair uh, tight and rolled to the dreads. Um, so these will be our go-to items that we'll use for tonight to uh, go ahead and get everything done. And uh, we'll turn out the fan because Ava is cold and we'll get to it. So let's get to it.
All right, we are done with Ava. As we said, let's look closer and see the parts. Shoot, sure, touch your head, baby. So you see the parts, first before it was nice and bushy. All this was bushy and now her parts are nice and fresh because all these have been nice and tight. Greased. Go. Is that okay, baby? And each time I find myself getting a little bit faster. So got her done. We got done in an hour and a half this time, Shug. Which is awesome, right? Mm -hmm. oh, pretty baby. All right, go ahead and get in bed. You're all good. Go, go. Oh, leave the dog alone. I barely got this. Oh, baby, this is child number two that we still need to get her hair to see how mad it, it is. And we gotta clean this all up, but she still has a whole bunch of soap in her hair. So Are she you? has to go back and rinse her hair out so that we can actually do her hair. So no, you did not get it all out. So oh, you did. get back in there, get it all rinsed out so we can start on her Jesus. hair. <laughs> Don't use the Lord's name in vain, girl. Christ, my Lord and Savior loves me Kid number two is done. Um, she braids hers, so my braid game is not this awesome, but still, in terms of the uh, this part, she we just finished. Wasn't able to braid it, of course, just yet. But again, seeing how clean her scalp is now, you can see the parts in her hair. 
you can see where it's been tightened. It's not bushy as it was before. But uh, she's all good to go. And when she undoes those, they'll be nice and curly. So she'll braid the other half of this and be done for the night. And that's it. Two heads done. About four hours later, we started at what time? Nine o'clock, we took a couple breaks. We started with Ava, my youngest, and it is almost two o'clock in the morning, so. Ava's wasn't that bad, about two hours, and yours was only about what, two hours, two and a half hours. We took a couple extra breaks, though. Too long. <laughs> about two hours for hers, too, so. There it is, all done. And that's how we do the girls' hair. All right, let's go to bed. Ugh.